I'd like to go ahead and start off the ceremony of uh, commissioning Fort Bennett as the second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. You know, that's uh, uh, he's put a lot of effort in this. Big day for him, graduating college and then getting his commission. Uh, that's uh, it's quite an accomplishment. Um, kind of a rundown of the sequence of events. What we're going to do is, we'll have Staff Sergeant Taylor, Taylor read the, uh, the parchment, the commissioning warrant. Uh, then we'll have uh, his, uh, I'm sorry, the last Captain Joslin. Captain Joslin will be rendering the oath of office, and then we'll have his father and his grandfather come up to do the actual pinning of the bars, um, and then we'll have the first salute will be rendered by Staff Sergeant Blaze Champs, and at that point in time, I'll turn the floor over to uh, Lieutenant Sanford Bennett, and uh, and he'll address his friends and family. So. Uh, just a couple things I want to cover right before we start the ceremony. Uh, Ford has been a staple in, in our pool since, uh, since I've been here. I've been here for the better part of two years, and he has been in the program. He was in the program when I first got here. So I could always count on him to be uh, on time at, at, at PT sessions and also offer another guys in the pool advice uh, from his experience from OCS and things of that nature. So. He has really stepped up, and to watch him grow over these last two years, it's an honor and a privilege uh, to be here today to affect his, his commissioning. Uh, this is what makes my job great, actually commissioning these guys. After watching them from the time they come in and, and express interest in the Marine Corps, all the way to the point in time when they come back from OCS, and, and ultimately here today when we're doing the commissioning. So it's, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, if you don't know too much about OCS, if you weren't able to go to his graduation ceremony, OCS is very stringent. Toughest military training, uh, I would say, in the nation, possibly in the world. Um, OCS attrition rate is a third. So, of the individuals that even attempt to go to OCS, a third of those will never make it through OCS. And then for whatever reason, even less than that, make it this day right here where they get to accept their commission. So truly a testament to his drive and determination and persistence. Uh, so he certainly deserves our, our respect for that. So, uh, without further ado, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to start the uh, ceremony reading of the uh, commissioning warrant. Captain Sir, if you come up here and stand at the side. You'll be able to be facing each other. Attention to orders. To all who should see these presents, greetings. Know ye that reposing special trust in the confidence and patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Sanford Everly Bennett, I do appoint this officer as second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. To rank as such from the 16th day of May, 2009. This officer will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the office to which appointed by doing and performing all manners of things thereunto belonging. I do strictly charge and require those officers and other personnel of lesser rank to render such obedience as is due an officer of this grade of position. And this officer is to observe and follow orders and directions from time to time as given by the President of the United States of America and other superior officers acting in accordance with the laws of the United States of America. This commission is con to continue in force during the pleasure of the United States of America under the provisions and those public laws relating to officers of the armed forces of the United States of America and the component thereof and with the, which this employment is made. Done at the city of Washington this 15th day of January in the year of our Lord 2009 and the independence of the United States of America the 232nd by the President James T. Conway, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Repeat after me. Raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Senator Lee Bennett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, 
and that I will well and faithfully discharge, and well faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. The duty of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. I'd like to ask his father and grandfather to come up to actually pin the bars. That's our to champs. Render the first salute. My face. Uh, just a little history on the first salute and why he gave him a silver dollar. It goes back to the 19th century where uh, military officers were given a dollar stipend to pay their enlisted uh, advisors to train them in their job. And that's where the, the, that, that tradition has, has drawn from. All the military services do it. Uh, some people, contrary to misbelief, believe that a salute is some sort of servient gesture, subservient gesture. It's not. It's an it's a, uh, exchange of respect is what, what a salute is. So at this point in time, I would like to introduce newly commissioned, the newest second lieutenant in the Marine Corps, uh, Lieutenant Ford Bennett. So. friends, family, that it's, thank you doesn't even begin to describe it. It all supported me through some very different and odd times, and you know, my mom wasn't always the happiest woman when I told her I wanted to join the Marine Corps, um, but I'm so glad she turned around and supported me, and I, like I said, thank you all so much for coming. My friends, my family, you guys in the back, you know, I've grown up with you the past four years, and you've really helped me get through a few things, and I hope I've helped your cause in some even small way, so again, Love you all, and thank you. Can we sing now? From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we fight our country's battles in the air, on land, and sea. First, you fight. Our flag. 